Chris Tomowitz. Today, we are looking at arguably the most important uh, component of an acoustic guitar, and that is its soundboard. Now, throughout this series, um, we're, this is episode 52 now, I think. Throughout this series, we've predominantly been looking at the back and sides because they are the most visually exciting. Um, quite often they come from interesting places uh, from far and wide and, and you know they're just they just tend to be more interesting to look at but it does do the soundboard a disservice because the soundboard you know to use a slightly unhelpful analogy it's the engine room it's the heart of the guitar and it's really really important and as I hope that you've been able to gather from this series wood is so variable not just across species, but within a species. You can have one piece of wood that rings like a bell and is straight gray and is, and is beautiful and is free of defects. And you can have another piece of wood from the same species, sometimes from the same tree, that is just dead as a doornail and uh, is full of knots and shakes and all this kind of thing. In an ideal world, you would go to, a, 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 you would go to the source, you would go to a supplier um, ideally somewhere you know in, in the Alps and spend a significant amount of time going through hundreds of soundboards flexing them looking at them inspecting them to to select the guitar the the tops that are going to meet your you know your your criteria your preference that's not always possible especially if you're a small shop luthier if you're you know a keen hobbyist Chances are you're not going to get the chance to go to Switzerland or Italy or Alaska to, to pick out your, your soundboards and quite often you have to re rely on a third party seller. There are lots of great ones out there. But it, what you really want to do, if you get a chance, is go and pick out tops yourself from, from hundreds. How do you know what you are buying when you click add to cart? How do you know that the spruce is going to be stiff and lightweight and responsive and not like some rubbish tabletop. So I was recently contacted by Simone and Andrea of Wooden Tones and together with some amazing luthiers, Michael Bashkin, uh, Chris Jenkins of Lame Horse and uh, Richard Yowen, um, building on the work or, or drawing on the work of Trevor Gore as well. They have created the Abyss Project, which is a timber selection service. It's a, it's a soundboard concierge service, if you, want, if you will. So in this box, this is, a, this is a box of Italian spruce. It's come from Revolta. And Revolta are the suppliers of the wood. Uh, wooden tones are the, the concierge service, if you like. And uh, the Abyss project is kind of, as I understand it, is like the umbrella idea behind this whole thing. So, when Simone and Andrea contacted me, they, um, they provided me with huge amounts of data uh, relating to each soundboard, along with photographs in a very high contrast, so I could really make out the grain of each individual top. So we were looking at really important data points. So stiffness, density, um, sound radiation coefficient, which I believe is something that uh, Chris, Michael and Richard have, have come up with, along with some other bits and pieces. Um, and each soundboard has a serial number, so we know when it was cut, from which batch it was from. So if you buy in a top that you really, really like, you can look at the serial number and you can go back and, and get some more and know that it's going to be from the same kind of batch, along with all the other data that they provide you with. So let's have a look, because I'm, I'm excited. Um, I picked 12, 12 sets using the data that was provided alongside the, the pictures. I went with some straight grain sets as opposed to um, you know things we like Bear Claw. They have lots of different options. And uh, here we go, Here's, here is my first Wooden Tones Revolta Abyss Project set of Italian spruce. So let's go ahead and give this a little tap 
It's very, very, very lightweight and very, very stiff. And uh, it sounds great. The decay of the fundamental is so smooth and silky. Lovely. Okay, here's another one. Yeah, this, this is, uh, wow. I don't know if you can get the, the kind of shimmer that I'm seeing there. This is a beautiful, beautiful top. Very even grained. All of the tops come, are selected from the kind of master grade sets at Revolta. It's all the, the very best spruce. So it really is selecting from the, ver the best of the best of the best. It's a service that I have not come across anywhere else. I don't know of anyone else who's doing this, this kind of work. And again, just varying the, the grip of the tone wood will change the kind of response that you get. I'm not disappointed. This is really, really lovely. I have huge respect for the guys behind this project, Michael Bashkin, Chris Jenkins, and Richard Yarin, who I who have not met, who I've not spoken with, but uh, I certainly know the work of Michael and, and Chris. And I know that they have worked really hard over many years to come up with a, a system um, to really understand what's going on with these soundboards, to be able to categorize them, not only aesthetically, but from a point of view, stiffness, density, and um, this uh, sound radiation coefficient, which I believe is, is, um, is in reference to the, uh, the, the projected volume, uh, the loudness of a, of a, um, of a soundboard. Having that data on hand is really, really important. You know, luthiers, and I count myself in this, quite often um, get uh, seduced by the romanticism of wood, of the material. We, we all love it so much and we all have this affinity with it that sometimes we, we kind of get too lost in the romantic side of what we're doing. And too often it's easy to forget about the science, the really important thing behind um, our guitar tops and, and the thing that is going to allow us to consistently produce great instruments. Now quite often I see luthiers talking about you know oh you just you just get a sense for it you just get a feeling for when it's for when things are right and while that's true you know there is a you you build like a an, an, an instinctive intuitive sense of what's going on with your soundboards through experience and handling hundreds and hundreds of sets Without having an idea about the, the, the physics, the science behind why one piece of wood performs in one way compared to another and just relying on fluffy, flowery fuckery, you are mugging off yourself and your clients. I cannot overestimate, I cannot overstate the importance of having such uh, wide data sets to, to draw from to help you understand what is going on with your soundboards. It's gonna help you make a, a better instrument. It's gonna help you make a more consistent instrument. And uh, I cannot wait to get into these soundboards. They feel amazing. They are so lightweight. That's what you wanna be looking out for. Wooden tones from Revolta. You can find them on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you to Simone, who I've been dealing with, for uh, approaching me with this. I'm very, very happy with this word. And they've been a pleasure to deal with. Just, just wonderful. Amazing. The grain. Again, it's, you're not going to be able to see it on the video. But the, uh, the, the high resolution, high contrast photos that are provided by, by this service um, are really useful. Now, in these videos, I really am just scratching the surface, tapping the surface when it comes to the, the science 
behind the acoustic guitar. Acoustic guitar is an incredibly complex, dynamic acoustic system. You know, you only have to read the books of Trevor Gore and Gerald Gillet to, to realize that to, to get under the surface of, of this endeavor, it requires like a physics PhD. Um, some of the maths in those books and the formulas, I, I don't understand. So I'm really grateful to the Abyss Project for easing the friction, for oiling the cogs and breaking it down for dum-dums like me. So there we go. Italian Spruce from Revolta, courtesy of the uh, concierge service that is Wooden Tones, in partnership with the Abyss Project which uh, Google it, you'll find it. It's on Instagram and it's on Facebook. And while I've got you here, just to remind you, the new 2021 merchandise, Tom Sands Guitars merchandise in collaboration with Fay Laura is now available on the website for pre-order. This is one of the original artwork prints. This is gonna be um, on t-shirts and we've got some stickers too. I absolutely love it. Faye is a wonderful artist. So this is um, hand-carved lino block print, all done by Faye. And she has just done a great job. It's really, really clean. And uh, yeah, love it. So you can get those pre-order on the website. Use the discount code DASNICE2021 for 10% off on pre-orders. TomSandsGuitars.com forward slash shop. I will see you soon.